Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. I do your reading almost daily and I upload your videos right away. So these messages are current. In this reading, we are going to get you some important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Aries today. feel so refreshed you know uh aries because i've been doing this collective reading and with different different topics so now i feel refreshed i feel like i can sort of breathe again it felt kind of stagnant at one point in time and i wasn't happy about it but anyway this is your single horoscope reading for a lot of you who have been complaining and requesting for it here it is uh we've got the eight of wands here in reverse this may be an indication of no communication no communication between you and somebody when i say someone somebody uh it could be because i'm not sure because roles can be reversed it's it's a general reading when it comes to personal readings i will not say that because i know exactly i can see exactly who is who because it's just for one person not for like a whole bunch of you watching this video right now right but seven of swords here is in reverse so somebody may have been caught whether it could be anything lying cheating treating somebody unfairly just uh or being really underhanded i feel like there has been no communication ever since right because not a once is here somebody may have their guards up somebody has gotten hurt you your person you or your person or could be both of you we've got the ace of pentacles here see the ace of pentacles is a new beginning right for some of you if you are single aries you feel like where am i gonna meet my person i still can't see it i still haven't met anybody yet the ace of pentacles indicates there is a potential person okay coming in for some of you maybe you've already met this person this person looks like uh, they're offering you or you're offering this person commitment it could be a new beginning but there is something unclear in regards of this person or this connection with the two of wands here or somebody is kind of indecisive whether to accept this offer or to give this offer of commitment or a new beginning feels like somebody is thinking long and hard in regards to that knight of cups this person may be a fire sign aries sagittarius or a leo but this for, for some of you also aries this may be someone you've already known okay this is someone you may have your guards up or this person may have their guards up um somebody here is definitely thinking long and hard whether they should reach out or not offer love or not that's for some of you if you're still dealing with somebody from your past right unless this is somebody completely new i feel like maybe you can be quite indecisive in regards of somebody because you've got bad experiences in the past with the 901s so a few different scenarios here to state what resonates with you and we've got the king of swords in love first some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an Aries here with the full in reverse and the page of wands in reverse. I feel like for some of you, maybe you are just afraid that something is going to repeat from the past. It could be from the same person or it could be like a new person, but having something repeated from the past, right? Afraid to take the plunger with the Aries energy in reverse, oh, which is you. So for some of you, maybe you're afraid to take a new leap of faith with somebody or take risks with somebody because of the king of swords here in reverse you may have been lied to cheated on unless roles are being reversed here aries unless you're dealing with somebody who may be kind of afraid to take a new leap of faith with you because of their past bad experiences or trauma but there is ace of pentacles here that means someone is waiting to offer this connection or offer this commitment or somebody could be waiting for somebody to accept it either or but somebody here loves you right knight of cups this person could be a pisces cancer scorpio and wanting to offer this to you if you don't know anybody right now you have nobody at all that means it's coming it's coming in this new love offer is coming in you may not be able to see it yet right now 
Yep, there could be a delay when kota and verse can indicate some sort of a delay. Maybe it's being delayed because of two of wands. Maybe you need to decide something here before you can meet this person. Hmm. A decision to perhaps cut something off from your past. Could be energetically, could be, you know, physically cutting somebody off. Releasing somebody. <laughs> Let's see more, Aries. Okay, judgment is right here. So judgment can indicate somebody talking about the past, bringing something from the past up. Something that I feel isn't that pretty. Um, but also it can indicate somebody wanting to hash things out, right? But the, but the strength card here can indicate also someone maybe feeling that Maybe it's not such a good idea because of the ego and uh, the world here is in reverse. So this is an energy of feeling stuck. Somebody could be stuck in the past um, because of something that may have happened or stuck in a past connection. Again, again it could be you or your person. We've got the uh, Empress here. We've got the High Priestess and Seven of Pentacles here in reverse. I feel like this has already happened, uh, Aries. Some of you may have found out that your person has somebody else. It may have been a secret with the high priestess here. And you do the best that you can. For some of you, it's like you, when you know about the secret, when you knew about the secret, you, you try to do the best that you can to be very diplomatic about it. Like you, you didn't act out. It feels like you still try to stay calm and cool. And for some of you, if this hasn't happened yet, if this is happening, for some of you already know with the high priestess intuitively, maybe something is going to be revealed to you. It's definitely saying to tell you to remain calm, okay? Remain calm and collected with the high priestess here. But there's definitely an energy of somebody feeling stuck in the past. Stuck in the past, um, unable to move forward. Could be contemplating in regards of wanting to, to, to reach out, to offer a commitment or to give something that is of value. <sighs> but a lot of delays I'm seeing here, right? Page of Wands in my verse. Fool in my verse. Somebody, somebody may be delaying it because of indecisiveness with the two of Wands here. Let's see more. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Page of Cups in my verse. Queen of Swords and one first. There's some childishness here. Page of Cups in one first. Some of you could be dealing with somebody who could be acting very immature. Again, roles can be reversed, yeah? And this is your energy. We've got the Knight of Wands here and one first. I feel somebody has an ego and doesn't want to reach out. Um, and the High Priestess Eight of Wands can indicate silence as well. Due to ego, somebody doesn't want to speak or doesn't want to initiate this uh, communication. Because somebody also could be thinking that, you know what, I, I'm the empress. So I've got, um, I'm a high value woman or high value man. So uh, whatever this person did to me, it was wrong. And I'm not going to bend and I'm not going to be the one who's going to initiate this conversation or apologize. I don't know whether it's you or this person. There's a lot of resentments I'm sensing. You could be resenting somebody right now or somebody could be resenting you right now because of like immaturity or somebody being insincere. But deep down, the love is there with the Queen of Cups here. Perhaps somebody still loves you, right? Deep down, they still love you. They may not want to tell you. They may act like they've given up on this connection or that they may act kind of aloof by not speaking. Eight of Wands and Love First. But I feel like eventually somebody is going to take actions, but it's very slow. It feels like a delay. There is a delay here. This Ace of Pentacles. Some of you Aries, again, if you're single, there is a new beginning here. You haven't met this person yet. King of Swords and Lovers could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. All right, Aries, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. There's a playlist on the screen right now. It says Asia. That's from my second channel. Uh, it's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And also, I'll leave you with another playlist. It says bonus compilation reading. And on this playlist, it has everything. All of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs. And you know what? 
I've been getting so many comments or some are complaints, some are what do you call requests. The requests were really nice. Chelsea, when are you gonna um, do the the single single horoscope reading again? Please, thank you. <laughs> the nice ones. Then you got the rude ones who will be like, "Oh, I'm not watching this video because it's not a single horoscope reading." Blah 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 blah. <laughs> So, but anyway, um, uh, what was I going to say? I'm going to try and balance both. And the reason why I do the collective, it's my way of experimenting with different questions. You know, uh, I want to see what other questions I can use for my reading because I read every single day and I don't want to read the same thing over and over and over again, right? It becomes so monotonous and it makes me feel uninspired and not excited, not excited, <laughs> Uh, to do your reading when it's like the same thing over and over again. But anyway, I want to thank um, for those of you who have been following me, subscribing to my channel ever since I started my YouTube channel until now. Some things have changed, some things haven't yet, but thank you for understanding whenever I make some changes. It's my way of growing and also to experiment. But anyway, Aries, Take care. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I hope to see you back here soon. Bye.